Hi guys, Salon here with Expand Excel Physical Therapy and Community Health, helping you expand your education and excel in physical therapy and related professions. On this channel, we interview students and practitioners offering tools, tips, and resources, which can also be found in the description area. And hey, if you're new here, consider subscribing and spreading the word. But in this video, I'm talking to Michael Wong with PhysioU, and he's going to just share a little bit about the apps that PT students can utilize to excel in the classroom as well as in their clinics. So. I'm so excited about what we're talking about today because this is my life's passion as an instructor of 15 years to think about how do students want to learn today and how can I expand learning beyond the boundaries of the classroom, yes. beyond the courses that we're forced to teach in small pieces. And so we've built apps from the be very beginning of PT school like range of motion, manual muscle tests, gait, movement analysis, yeah. um, things like transfers and assistive devices, all of these very simple apps that are really hard to learn when you're reading it word by word or looking at seven sequential pictures. Imagine trying to learn how to teach someone to use a pair of crutches. Step one, fit the crutches. Step two, move the left leg forward. Move the right leg. Imagine if you could just watch it. In 30 seconds, you knew it. All that extra time could be used to develop clinical reasoning to talk about who would you use it for. Yes. So it, when, uh, selfishly, I'm an orthopedics professor. We have so many techniques and tests that we need to teach. By the time a lab is done, all of that, all of those tools are now chaotically filtered into your brain and you're trying to sort it out. It's much harder to sort things out later than it is to pre-plan and organize it in your minds as a student first. So at the beginning of every orthopedic class, let's say I'm in shoulder week, I will spend an hour just going through each of the patterns in the app and showing you how it all lays out. This is what the patients look like. Here's how a patient presents. There's a little video. And here's the examination that we would usually do. And this is the types of movements that they tend to do wrong and how to correct them. And then we link it to the interventions tied to the examination. So we're matching impairments to the appropriate treatments and the therapeutic exercises that match the treatments. Imagine all of those are separate classes but you can lay it all out. In five minutes, you can learn the lay of the land of how to examine and treat someone with shoulder impingement. So, how to make the connections of every part of that, that treatment process. Exactly. In classes that I cannot even have the time to teach you until a semester from now, I have already laid out a map giving you a way to access it, let you learn it if your interest drives you to learn it. You can pull it out anytime you think of something, it's in your pocket, so you can begin to synthesize and pull things together from your previous knowledge to your new knowledge. And by organizing it first, think about how much easier it is on Thursday when I teach you all the techniques. It's all patterned out. You already know that I'm gonna teach you six special tests for rotator cuff tears. And all the treatments, they all make sense now. You can imagine, I don't have to say, you know what, it's all gonna to come together. When you get to the clinic, it's all gonna make sense. Today, I can promise you that when we pattern those things out early, everything makes sense as it, as it comes to you in the little pieces that as instructors, we have to deliver in little right. pieces. So that's kind of how the orthopedic apps or the, or the cardiopulmonary app, they basically create the common practice patterns that you would see in the clinic and they organize all that stuff that we're gonna teach you it's all patterned out and always updatable. The moment the new clinical practice guidelines come out, we go through them, eliminate stuff that doesn't belong in the app anymore, or add and film new things and push it in the cloud to everybody in the world, all of our users. What's, what's awesome to me is that I am a visual learner and you know, a traditional program I don't think is that great of a fit to me so having this as a resource is going to really ex make my education and even retention 
excel right Absolutely. to the next level so i really really appreciate that guys i hope you're getting some great information here please check out the physio you um, website and again remember all show uh links and notes are in the description area so check that out but quick question of the day what apps or software are you using right now to help make that retention of the information a little better connect with us in the comment section where hey some of the best comments and tips are happening so engage become a part of the community thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like the video and until next time continue expanding your education am i saying wrong right mm -hmm. okay hi guys okay i wasn't ready <laughs> All right, awesome. that is awesome. That was so, really good. I didn't get to show the app. Oh, but do you want to we do can that as a separate thing, or yeah, do you want yeah. to talk about it? Like, or, or you, why don't we do another small segment? Like.